Hey guys, so today's video is going to be a nail tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to get the Half Moon Nail Manicure. Um, if you've never seen this before, it's really kind of been made famous by Dita Von Teese. And if you don't know who Dita Von Teese is, she's a burlesque dancer, but she's also known for her style. Um, she kind of channels the whole 30s and 40s era type style down to her car, um, the way she dresses, the decorations in her home. Like She really likes to do the 1930s, 1940s look. Um, so this is the look that she wears on her nails a lot. Um, the colors that she usually does, though, are white and red. Today I decided to do gold and red just because of the holidays or right around the corner, so I wanted to kind of be festive. So there's a couple of ways to achieve this kind of manicure, but in today's tutorial I'm going to show you how I like to do it. So yeah, if you're interested in learning how to get this manicure, <laughs> just keep watching. So the first step is you want to apply your base coat, and today I use Nutri Nail Mineral Nail Care Rock Hardener. What's up, buddy? <laughs> um, anyway, so you want to apply your base coat and wait until it completely dries. And then next you want to choose what color you want to do for your half moon. Um, as you can see here, I did more of a gold color. And so I already applied that, and the color I use is OPI's Curry Up Don't Be Late. So that's what this looks like. Um, normally for the half moon color, um, I only do about one coat. Um, but for this, I actually had to do two coats because it's such a sheer nail polish, and I really wanted that gold to peek through. So once you apply your half moon color, you want to make sure that it's completely dry as well. Um, you want to make sure it's 100% dry, not 80%, not halfway through. You want to make sure it's completely dry. It's very important, um, and you'll see why later. So, actually, I'll just tell you right now. Um, the next thing you want to do, um, what I'm going to be using for this technique are um, reinforcement labels. They come in a package like this. Um, this is by the company um, called Avery, and what these are originally for is if you, I used to use these a lot in high school, but what you would use these for is if you used the notebook paper with the three hole punch, and if one of the little holes were to tear, um, leaving you not able to put it into your binder without it falling out, you would put on these little labels on the holes, and then you'd be able to put that paper back into your binder or your folder without it falling out. So that's what these are for. But today what we're going to do is, um, you'll just peel one off, like this, and so that they come in just like little circles. You want to just take a pair of scissors and cut it in half. So just like this. And the reason I said that your first color, such as the gold that I have on my nails, the reason I said you want to make sure that it's completely dry is because we're going to stick these onto our nails. And before I do that, um, because you're going to stick this onto your nail, if your nail polish is just a little bit damp or um, just not completely dry at all, then once you go to take the, the label off, part of your nail polish will rip off. So you want to make sure it's 100% completely dry. I can't stress that enough. Um, so anyway, I'm going to take the little label here, and it's up to you how far you want to go down on the nail. It just depends on what look you want to go for. Um, but you want to try to make sure, however far you go down, you want to make sure you do it um, the same way on each nail so that they look even. So I'm just going to kind of eyeball it. I want to make sure that it's in the center. I'm just going to press down, and then where the label or where your nail and the skin meet, you want to make sure that you push the label really hard into your into where that those two things meet, your nail and your skin meet. Because if you don't, if you just leave it kind of sitting open like this and not completely pressed in, when you go to add your next color, if it's not completely secured and stuck in there, then your nail polish could seep in and into. The part that you don't want to have your nail polish on so it won't come out as a clear a clean line I hope that makes sense but um do you just want to push it in as much as you can so it's just tight tightly on there and then you just want to continue with the rest of your nails and it makes it easier you can even turn your hand around like this just to make sure that you have it on evenly that's my dog chewing back there if you can hear that So just like this and like this. So I'm going to go ahead and continue doing the rest of these three nails and I'll be right back. Okay, so now that I have all my little labels on my fingers, um, next thing what you want to do is choose your next nail polish. And so I'm going to be using a red polish. And this is Sally Hansen's Hard as Nails Extreme Wear in the color Brick Wall. It's just a really nice red and this is the name. So I'm going to go ahead and apply that onto the rest of your nails. So the reason you have these labels on is because it's pretty much blocking out um, the part that you want to remain gold or whatever color that you have as your half moon. Um, so then basically um, you can just paint your 
polish on as you would and you can be as sloppy as you want um, towards the top because the paper or the label is just going to catch the remaining of the nail polish. Um, just a quick tip, when you're deciding on what two colors to use, um, I recommend that the half moon color that you use or the, the bottom layer that you um, choose to do, I, I recommend that that color is a lighter shade than your top color. Um, if you, just the reason because of that is if you have a darker color um, on the bottom and a lighter color on top, then the lighter color might not be able to completely cover the dark color, if that makes sense. Um, if you want to have a, a lighter color as your main color and a dark color as your half moon, you want to make sure that your light nail polish color is a really thick, creamy nail polish so that it's thick enough to completely cover the dark color you have underneath. If that, if that makes sense. I hope that helps. But um, the traditional way to do it... Um, that I've seen is you do a lighter color on the bottom and then a darker color on top. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. Okay, so now that my nails are completely painted, you just want to make sure that your nails are 100% dry again. Um, this step is very important because if you we're to take off the labels right now, um, or even just when they're only halfway dry, there's a possibility that when you take the label off, you'll pull off some of the red paint with it, or the, the paint that you just did with it. Um, so I want to wait till these are 100% completely dry before I pull off the label. So I'm going to wait for these to dry, and I'll be right back. Okay, so now that my nails have dried, I'm going to go ahead and peel these off, and I want to do it slowly, so, so I make sure I don't rip anything off. so this is how it will turn out and now I'm gonna go ahead and put uh, my top coat on I still haven't cleaned out off the edges so if you're thinking it looks a little messy that's why um, so I'm gonna go ahead and put my top coat in this Sush Beats uh, dry fast top coat so I'm gonna go ahead and add just a coat of that to each nail Alright, so this is the final look of our Half Moon Manicure. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this and I hope it was easy to follow along. Um, it's really fun to do, especially when you change out the colors and you can find different combinations that you really like to see on your nails. So yeah, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.